Scatter plots are a great visual to explore data. A scatter plot will also allow you to quickly investigate trends between two quantitative variables. When designed well, scatter plots also serve as a fantastic explanatory tool and a chart that will perform well in a data story. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a basic scatter plot in Excel and then make the following enhancements. Changing the look of the default points on the scatter plot, adjusting the X and Y axis for your data, adding data labels to points, and using quadrants to help direct your audience to a compelling story in your data. To create a scatter plot, you need to have two quantitative categories to compare. One of these categories will go on your X axis and the other on the Y axis. In this data set, we have three variables, the location of the office, the average handling time, and the customer satisfaction rating. We'll use the numeric categories to create our scatter plot. Arrange your data so that the data you want reflected in your x-axis is in the column next to, on the left side, of the data you want on your y-axis. Highlight these two columns. Click Insert and select the Scatter Plot option. This data clusters in the top right of our chart, leaving lots of white space in the scatter plot. We can adjust the axes to zoom in on the data better. Double-click on your y-axis. The Format Axis option should appear. You can also right click on the axis and select format axis. Select the option that looks like the bar graph and extend the axis options menu. Here, we'll change our bounds. Currently, the y axis is running from 0% to 90%. Let's change the starting value to 30% by adjusting to a minimum of 0.3. You can play around with this value to help you get the data to appear where you want it to in the frame. We also need to change the x-axis. Follow the same steps. Double-click or right-click on the y-axis to access the Format Axis menu. Select Axis Options and adjust the lower bound. I'm going to see what happens if I start my x-axis at 3. You can continue to adjust your axes as needed so the data displays over the whole area of the chart. We can also get rid of unnecessary elements that Excel adds in to charts as defaults, such as the grid lines and the chart title. To remove, simply click on the element and hit delete, or use the add chart elements option at the top left of the menu, or the green plus sign in the chart to deselect these elements. You can change the default points that appear in the scatter plot. I suggest changing all of the dots to gray, and then using color to strategically highlight values. To change the color of all of the dots, click on a dot once. All of the points will be selected. You can right click and open the Format Data Series menu, then choose the Paint Bucket option. Select Marker, select Fill, and then select the color that you want the marker to be. To increase the size of the marker, click the Marker Options menu, then choose the Built In option and increase the size. Next, I'll show you how to add a label for the office location to each point that's represented on the scatter plot. Click on a point and add in a data label from the green plus sign or by using the Add Chart Element menu. The labels now show the customer satisfaction percentage, which is not the information we want. To change this, click on the data label. You will see that all of the labels are now selected. Right-click to access the Format Data Label menu. In this menu, go to the option that looks like a bar chart and open the Label Options menu. You can see that the Y value and Show Leader Lines is selected. We want the points to be labeled with values from cells. Deselect Y value and show leader lines, and then select value from cells. A pop-up asking for the cells that the data label should be pulled from appears. Highlight the cells that have the office locations, and then select OK. Now you'll see that the city names show on the dots. You may want to play with the axis a bit more to space the points out to avoid overlap now that there's data labels. You can also move the location of the data labels to give you a little more space and less overlap. A way to guide your audience to specific values is to use color to highlight points in the scatter plot and to create quadrants and meaningful values. A place to start is to insert average lines for each of the variables. The average time it takes to answer a call is approximately 5.2 minutes and the average customer service rating is 72%. You can add these chart elements in either Excel or PowerPoint. Click Insert, choose Shape, and then select Line. Add in the line at the correct value on your chart. Do the same for the other average value. Now you can use these quadrants to call out patterns. 
For example, Albuquerque may be fast in answering calls, but they are way under the average for customer service rankings. Or you might want to point out that Madison is really blowing the other offices out of the water in terms of customer service, but are doing so at a cost of taking longer to answer calls. Continue to play with your formatting, highlighting, and storytelling titles to create a scatter plot that really lays out the key insight of your data for your audience.